Hare Krishna, this is Mrinal Ghiyam, first con in the service of Shri Prabhupada and Guru Maharaj and the topic is, what is the role of a wife in Krishna conscious marriage? That's a very interesting topic and I think all my fr friends would like to hear this, what is given in the Vedic culture. And um, the basic duty of a woman in Krishna conscious marriage is like any other duty, it's like um, you know, keeping the house clean, maintaining the family peacefully and raising the children and uh, this is like the basic thing. Shri Prabhupada had uh, stressed on a point like women should be trained in the duties and responsibilities of, uh, of uh, being a housewife because it is not something like you know it's an ordinary thing and especially in Krishna consciousness it is the duty of a wife to assist husband in the services like uh, and um, it's uh, in whatever services the husband is doing she can be assistant to him and she can grow in spiritual life. Shri Prabhupada even said like if there is like no woman is doing a temple service and at the, at the same time there is uh, like she is leading a household life also she should continue both but then in case if circumstances comes wherein it is difficult to maintain both then in that circumstance Shri Prabhupada said like no women should go for uh, household duties because by serving husband women can get uh, spirituality can progress in spiritual life and uh, it is not like just by coming in the temple and by doing direct service to Krishna woman progresses in spiritual life so it is very clearly given in Vedic culture the duties of a woman she should be very pleasing she should be well dressed there are certain things which is given in Vedic uh, literature like you know, she should be well dressed she should be very attractive very loving and she should not nag like you know whatever husband gives like you know she should not be over demanding and like you know if husband gives money she should be satisfied this is what like you know to keep the marriage uh, peaceful and happy like because uh, like you know she should be respectful to a husband because um, it's husband has they do have the ego problem like so she should very nicely very affectionately she should deal with the uh, husband's ego also at the same time it is given the Vedic culture like you know I mean husband should not take advantage of women's uh, kindness like if woman is very nice like you know okay fine being a masculine I can do this like you know I can yell at her I can I, I can talk to her in this way this is no no in Vedic culture Vedic culture it talks about affection about love and it is not masculine like you know I mean be yelling at woman so it's like basically it's the marriage is all about communication whatever communication you have like you know express yourself and there are times like you know husband ignores wife so it, it's like you know women should not in that case like you know I mean just uh, end the relationship sometimes it does happen like you know you small things can make the problem big but then very peacefully like you know Srila Prabhupada said like couple of times like you know at times like, there are disturbances comes in marriage like she should tolerate but yes it is given in Bhagavad Gita that there are four miscreants like so uh, women should not serve those miscreants and they are like you know, those who are involved in uh, illicit sex, in gambling, in intoxication, in meat eating. Women is not supposed to serve uh, such person but if the husband is God, is, it is God conscious then in that case women should not leave husband. She should continue and uh, tolerate the circumstances like you know she should on uh, with the relationship it's not like she should be very at the same time she should be very affectionate also affection plays a very important role in marriage and giving respect to each other because most of the times we take it for granted like okay fine he's my husband or she's my wife we take the things for granted this is not acceptable in Vedic in Vedic culture if you will see like you know, um, uh, Krishna's wives they were surrendered they were serving Krishna if you take if you read Krishna book like you know the uh, talk between Rukmani and Krishna it's it's like you know it's it's so amazing it's so uh, like uh, helpful for uh, people who are in Grihastha ashram so um, it's like you know you do your duties properly and uh, 
keep your communication open radhanath mahara says like you know if you have like you know communication open then it becomes like you know marriage becomes a yoga i mean this even i haven't thought of like marriage could be yoga but then this is something really interesting like marriage could be yoga if you have if you leading a peaceful life if you are having that kind of a communication and uh, women should know like you know where how to serve and how to please with pleasing words with uh, soft words like you know these are the things like it's given in the vedic literature to keep the marriage uh, at peace so when you are doing these things properly then it's like you know your krishna consciousness is not going to be affected it's like you know you know what you are doing and you are automatically when you are serving when you are assisting your husband in krishna conscious uh, services then you are also progressing so that is in nutshell the role of a woman in krishna conscious marriage hari krishna